Hey friends, my name is Gwen, and this is my friend Clyde that has come to visit me. Welcome to St. Mark's VBS Home Edition. Our theme for this week is You Choose, The Power Is Yours, and today we're talking about how to choose kindness. Clyde, what is this in your mouth here? Well, you see, my birthday is coming up in only 244 days, so I'm making a list of what presents I want. Oh, okay. Well, oh, okay. Um, an iPad, an Xbox, a Camel Zoom action cam, an electric razor scooter with a camel attachment. That's a good one. Lego City Deep Space Rocket, a Nintendo Switch, and a Junior Stinger Beginner's Lacrosse Stick. Mm -hmm. hmm. This is a lot of stuff, Clyde, and it's a lot of expensive stuff. Well, yeah. That's why I'm asking other people to buy them for me. I just love getting presents, and these toys are cool. I want lots of cool toys. Well, you're sure thinking a lot about yourself right now, Clyde. It is my birthday. Who else am I supposed to think about? Well, God would like us to think about others before we think about ourselves and choose kindness to others. I have a Bible story that I'd like to share with you that talks about that. A camel story? No, no camels in this story. It's about a woman who was very poor, and a man named Elijah came to her town, and he was needing some bread and water to drink from her. But she only had enough bread and water to feed her and her son. Oh, I know what the woman should do. What's that? She should eat all of her food and store it in her home. Then she could be full and happy and not have to share with anybody for a long time. Well, Clyde, humans don't have humps. What? You must be kidding me. No, no, I'm not. But anyway, you had a point. She could have chose to just keep things for herself and her son. But even though she didn't have very much food to eat, she decided to share what she had and show kindness to Elijah. And she trusted that God would take care of her if she did that. And you know what? What? He did. He made a miracle happen. Not only did she have enough food for herself and, Eli and, and her son, but she also had enough for Elijah. Whoa, that's pretty crazy. Well, thanks for the story. Now I need to get back to working on my list. But wait, Clyde, didn't you learn anything from the story? Um, that people need humps? No, no, no. Um, no. Remember in the story, the woman could have kept everything for herself, but she didn't. Instead, she shared it with Elijah. The woman chose kindness, and you and I have the power to choose kindness, too. Let me get this straight. You're saying I should give some of my food to other people instead of stuffing it all in my mouth? Exactly. But there are other ways you can choose kindness, too, not just that. You can help your mom and dad to set the table without them telling you to. You could make your bed without them telling you to. You can congratulate someone when they do a great job. And you can play hide and seek with your little brother or sister. Or you can pick up garbage outside. Yes, now you're thinking. You can write a letter to someone who's lonely or sick, and you can share your toys with kids that don't have very many toys. So I have an idea. Instead of writing a list about all the toys that you want, how about writing down acts of kindness that you can do for others? Oh, I like that. Great. Can I have that paperback, please? Yes, there you go. Thanks for visiting, Clyde.